I don't think if you can live without hope. You know, you have to always have something that you live for, and I think this is exactly hope. I'm a chairperson of Terry Fox Run in Regina, and I love it. It's, it's amazing, you know, because he's my hero. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining Terry Fox Run today. He always had this hope to help. He was inspiring people to do so much things, and I love this part of Terry more than being just me the same as him. I was nine. They did some experiments, and then they told my parents that I have a cancer, I have a bone cancer. And seven days after I did my first chemotherapy, I lost my leg. It changed my attitude a lot. I have so much dreams, and I just want to achieve it, even with one leg. I always wanted to help other cancer patients. I was thinking, okay, I owe them. No, I just wanted to share my life. I have so much challenges in my life, and I just wanted to say, see, you always have to be positive about your life. And I know lots of people struggle with prosthesis. I love it. That's part of my life, you know? Why I have to hide it? I enjoy when a kid just run to me and just say, oh my God, what's that? Wow, robotic legs. And I say, oh my God, I didn't think about that like this. That's, yeah, robotic leg. When I started Instagram, I didn't think about followers or something. I was just thinking, I really want to help others. I want to share my stories, and maybe it helps one or two people that they think, okay, their life is better than me, you know, they have something that I don't. That's my favorite photo, and I wrote, be different. The world is full of ordinary people. And if you see, this is my leg between so much legs there. The first time that I went to this football game, that was really important. In my country, women cannot go to the stadium. This was an amazing day for me. All of my family live in Iran. Internet was shut down there and I couldn't talk to my parents. You have to lose it to know how important it is. Fortunately, Sastel gave us the free uh, contact that I could just call by phone, you know, without charging, which was, which was amazing that time. Unfortunately, I lost my dad, but I talked to my mom, I think, every day. They are nine hours and a half ahead of us, so when I'm going to bed, they're waking up. It's hard, but I'm trying to do my best because I cannot live without my family for sure. I have to connect. I have so much dreams that I have to achieve, even with one leg. 